Cloud automation and management is the catalyst that empowers the software-defined data center. In this video, we're going to explore how cloud automation and management combined with software-defined services will drive the next round of IT efficiency improvements. Today, the world revolves around applications. Creating, delivering, and managing those applications is a formidable challenge for both business development and IT. By virtualizing all aspects of the data center, namely compute, networking, security, and storage, VMware customers are moving to a completely virtualized infrastructure, one that can be dynamically configured to meet the specific application needs. Because a virtualized infrastructure is fully abstracted from the hardware, workloads running in your data center can be deployed seamlessly on the environment of your choosing, whether that be private, public, or hybrid cloud. However, virtualizing all aspects of your infrastructure by itself will not provide the desired efficiency improvements if your infrastructure and applications are still being delivered by siloed manual processes that take days and weeks to deliver the services your business needed yesterday. Policy-based management and automation is the catalyst that empowers the software-defined data center. Cloud automation accelerates the end-to-end -end delivery of infrastructure, applications, and custom IT services through the dynamic configuration of these virtualized infrastructures. Cloud operation monitors the health and performance and capacity, providing the guidance to take corrective action, and cloud business management provides the visibility into cost and quality of service. Many of you may not remember what a catalyst is. In order to help you recall your high school chemistry, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration. In this example, we are going to mix soda and chlorine, two substances that by themselves are fairly stable. However, when combined together, they greatly accelerate the rate of the reaction. So what is needed to address those fundamental changes in the way IT delivers services to the business? Virtualizing more of the physical, compute, storage, and networking infrastructure resources lays the foundation for being able to dynamically configure resources to meet the accelerating pace of business. But automation is the catalyst to delivering services more efficiently. This video looks at some of the ways cloud automation and policy-based governance can improve service delivery times while at the same time lowering costs. If you think back to where server virtualization was 10 years ago, it was just starting to get general adoption. The primary motivation for many companies was capex savings generated by hardware consolidation and resource pooling. A side benefit was that virtual machines could be delivered much quicker than physical machines, helping accelerate service delivery times from many weeks down to a few days. Cloud automation and management will drive the next round of IT efficiency improvements. Automation will help accelerate IT service delivery time from days and sometimes weeks to hours and even minutes. Policy-based governance and controls will assure that the business users receive the appropriate level of resources for the tasks that they need to perform. Performance and health monitoring will make sure that applications continue to operate at peak efficiencies and make the appropriate adjustments to make sure that that happens. Financial management capabilities will allow IT to compare costs of internal and external delivery models. And intelligent placement ag algorithms will help deliver the appropriate service levels based both on cost as well as operational policies that control where specific applications and data need to be located. Let's look in a bit more detail at where the savings are possible. Our first savings area is improving operational efficiency. Even with virtualization, most companies still spend four to six hours over three to four days to bring new compute resources online or make changes to existing resources. Automating infrastructure delivery is often the first step for most companies, but what if you need more than just virtual machines? What if you need a multi-tiered application? Usually this means more silos, more manual processing, and longer wait times. Many companies tell us it can take two to three weeks to deploy a multi-tiered application. Then there's the ongoing challenge of keeping these independent deployments in sync as changes are made. The result is more silos, more manual processing, resulting in longer waits and frequent incompatibilities in dev, test, and production environments, which impact the ability to deliver high-quality solutions. Our next cost savings area is optimizing resource utilization. 
By this I mean preventing waste by eliminating overprovision on the front end or by automating the reclamation of inactive machines and reducing sprawl on the back end. Most companies just assume that a percentage of the resources will be wasted because the cost to control and reclaim those resources manually is greater than the resource savings. While this may not sound like a lot, it can account for anywhere between 15 and 25 percent of the resources at most companies. Now that you understand at a high level where these savings are coming from, let's look at some actual customer examples. Our first customer is a large health care provider and they were able to accelerate service delivery times by 98 percent, improving service delivery from four days to under two hours while lowering their operational cost by 80 percent. Combined with a 20 percent improvement in hardware utilization, they were able to save over $400,000 annually. This allowed them to break even in about 11 months with greater savings in future years. These results are pretty typical of the customers we have worked with. And let's look at some additional examples. Last year at VMworld, VMware IT shared the results of their cloud automation project. There are several videos available on YouTube which highlight some of their achievements. As you can see from these results, they are in the same area as those of our healthcare provider. They were able to reduce provisioning times by 95%, improve developer productivity by 20%, and reduce VM costs by over 80%. In doing so, they saved over $6 million annually. As you can see from the graphs, they are only part of the way on their journey to IT as a service and have goals for further improvement. Last summer, VMware surveyed our customers about their journey to IT as a service. What we discovered was that organizations that have made the shift are fundamentally outperforming those that haven't, not only in terms of IT cost, responsiveness, and operational efficiency, but also in terms of overall business success. In summary, virtualization was the key enabler of the last wave of IT efficiency, driving down both hardware cost and service delivery times. The software-defined data center extends the benefits of compute virtualization to networks, storage, and other IT services. Cloud automation with policy-based governance and control leverages those software-defined services delivering the next wave of IT efficiency, further reducing both cost and IT service delivery times. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and we hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available.